It's beautiful. It's hard to believe that somewhere out there in that sea of stars, planets are being destroyed by the Gnosis phenomenon. In the distant past, people were forced into space by unavoidable circumstances. 4,000 years since then, they never encountered any life forms they could call neighbors. Just when everyone had given up and assumed that humans were alone in the universe, the Gnosis approached us in order to erase mankind from the cosmos. My grandfather used to say that all of creation has a meaning and purpose, and that that's why we're allowed to exist in the universe. If that's true, then perhaps we are fated to perish. Maybe the universe itself is rejecting us. Maybe we are the ones that are rejecting the universe by trying to change that fate. Is that why you built Cosmos? The planet where I was born was destroyed by the Gnosis. I lost my mother there as well. <sighs> I was the only one that survived. Sometimes I don't know if what I'm doing is to atone for not being able to do anything or to take revenge against those who took everything from me. But I can say that even if the universe desires otherwise, she is our hope. I think I understand how you feel. I lost my parents on Milsha. Shion. Why am I here? What should I be doing? Where am I going? It's as if everything is hidden in a deep fog on a distant shore. But right now, if that's where hope lies, I want to grant your wish. I'm walking may be a mistake. I don't know for sure. Will you walk down this path with me? Oh, Kevin. Shion, are you feeling joy? Joy? Yes. I'm happy. Very happy. Happy? I feel fulfilled. By this memory? Yes, it's a wonderful memory. The days I spent with him, feelings of warmth. I want to stay like this forever. Forever? Even if I were to be born again. Eternally. Over and over. Over and over. Over and over. But... We went into the hypersphere to rescue the Elsa, and then Telos and Cosmos... <gasps> Cosmos! Where is everyone? Oh, where am I?
Don't move! <gasps> Junior, wait! Junior, that's not an enemy. What? Oh, Shion! <laughs> Junior, why did you do that? Oh, sorry. I thought you were an enemy. Could you get off me? Oh, sorry. <sighs> I'm glad everyone's okay. Actually... We can't find Cosmos or the crew of the Elsa. I'm sure they were transported with us, but... Transported? Do you mean a warp transfer? Yeah. We don't know where we are yet, but it was probably that light. Oh, no. It can't be. That's impossible. Jin! What's wrong, Xion? <gasps> it can't be. But it is. There's no mistaking it. That's Labyrinthos. Labyrinthos? From Milsha? Wasn't it destroyed during the conflict? Yeah, I can't believe it either. But there's no doubt about it. If that exists, that means we're on Milsha at least 15 years ago. Do you mean we're in the past? I don't know about that. We were in the past when we dove into Cosmos' subconscious. Yes, that might be possible as well. <gasps> Gunshots! Over there! Let's go! Jin! Quiet! Damn it! I can't die before I rendezvous with the main unit. Those are combat realities. Looks like they're against Federation soldiers. What do you want to do? He's not going to last long. We can't just abandon someone who's hurt. Let's help him. I'll shoot you if you don't follow. Uh, <gasps> it can't be. Lieutenant Virgil? Virgil? The Testament? Yes, he looks a little different, but there's no doubt it's him. But how? How do you know my. Uh... <gasps> He's hurt. Don't touch me! Oh, don't move and let me treat your wound. <sighs> What should we do? We help him. What else? But he's a testament, right? Don't ask me. I don't know. His wounds are serious. If we don't do something soon... We can't leave him here. Yes. At any rate, let's find a safe location. Momo, please lend me a hand. I'm going to stop the bleeding. Okay. That should do it. Let's hurry and get him somewhere he can rest. Yeah. 
Is someone there? That's... Feb? Hey, wait! Shion! Virgil's getting worse. His condition is critical. We have to find somewhere to treat him, quickly. But where? Wait, there should be a church up ahead. A church? Yes, when I woke up in this forest, I felt strange. But if this is Milsha, and that's Feb, then this is a place I know well. If we follow her, we should arrive at an old church. There's no time to hesitate. Let's carry him there. This is... We saw this place in Cosmos's subconscious. Yes. I met Fabronia here. The place holds a lot of memories for me and Feb. He can rest inside here. Let's go. someone hurt nearby. His wounds are serious and we can't move him, so we came here. Someone hurt? <gasps> oh no! Hurry! This way! Fabronia, wait! This man is a Federation soldier. Do you realize what you're doing? He may be an enemy soldier. But he's still hurt. I don't think that's a good idea. You're a UTIC organization realian, remember? It's bad enough that you're here at all. UTIC? Please, he's going to die. I know. Take him to the back room. Maybe I should have Professor Mizrahi be a little more strict in the management of realians. You're a valuable transgenic model. We can't lose you before your growth is complete. I'm sorry, but I can't let him die. Fabronia? If you want to call the soldiers, go ahead. <sighs> Fine. I wouldn't want to cause a problem with your mental balance over something like this. I'll pretend I don't know about it. Her maintenance medical kit is outside. It's for realians, but it should be better than nothing. Thank you. Don't mention it. It's not like he's going to live anyway. He's suffered heavy damage to his vital organs. Nanomachine treatment won't be enough. The stem cell germination can't keep up. We have to transplant the basic tissue he needs. Damn. There's nothing we can do. Please, transplant my organs. That should compensate for what's missing. Transplant? No offense, but you're a realian. There's never been a case of transplanting organs from a realian to a human. I'm a transgenic type. 
I was designed by Professor Mizrahi as a template for next generation realians. My body composition is virtually identical to human beings. The cells should have an affinity for each other, so please... Even if that's true, what about you? If we remove your organs, then you'll need transplants as well. If we temporarily suspend my internal circulation, I can last for several hours. If I return to Labyrinthos during that time, I can regenerate there. I'll be fine. Please, help him. Uh... He's going to die. There's no other way. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, please. go well? Yes. With that quack as the surgeon, I wasn't too sure, but somehow he managed it. He's sleeping in the back now. Don't worry. The others are with him. I see. Good. You should rest here for a while. Replication may be finished, but your body cycle still hasn't returned. Yes, I'll do that. Um, thanks for saving him. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay, Xion. Everything's fine. Your name's Xion? Yeah! Did you and your friends come in that green ship? Green ship? Yeah! A pretty ship I've never seen before came down by the East Cave. You were on it, right? Could that be the Elsa? Yes. It makes sense for the Elsa to have been sent to the same place with us. We should check it out. I can't believe you went and did this! They're going to question my supervision! I did it on my own. I won't bring any trouble upon you. I certainly hope not. It's about time for the organization to show up. Could I ask you all to leave? It's only going to complicate matters if you're here. What about him? Sorry, but he has to stay right here. There's going to be serious trouble if someone finds out I helped an enemy soldier. Once we're gone, you can do as you please. All right. Xi'an, thanks for telling me about the ship. Sure! Goodbye! Oh, is someone there? Newcomers, eh? Don't you people get tired of harassing me? Um, sir, are you in charge of this place? Eh? You aren't with Utic? Utic? Don't be insulting! Sounds like something's going on here. If you're not with Utic, then it's none of your business. Leave now! I'm sorry, but we have our own business. We must go past here. Past here? Hmm. Ah, have you come to investigate that ship? Our friends are on board. Uh -huh. That's not going to be easy. My granddaughter Mai is investigating it now. But I imagine Utic soldiers are already crawling around inside. Utic soldiers? Yes. I'll never forgive Utic. They took everything. All the valuable resources from the mine, the livelihood of the people who depended on it, and even the life of my son, Tethla. Ah! A cave-in? No. This explosion was caused by weapons. That's loophole. I told that girl time and again to avoid combat! Loophold? Loophold is the autotech Tethla used. Mai believes her father's soul lives on in that machine. Together with Loophold, she protects this land. One autotech is hardly enough to take on you, Tick. What do you want to do? Xion! Sir, I'm afraid we have to go into those caves. 
Is that all right? Should be fine. If you run into Mai, tell her to stop fighting and come back. Will do. By the way, we never asked your name. My name? It's Eisen Magus. What was that? Hmm. I'd imagine that was a loophole. It looked like it took some damage. We should hurry. Stop right there! Are you Mai? Your grandfather's worried about you. Why don't you stop fighting and go back to him? Grandfather is worried about me? You're lying! You won't fool me, you tick! Hey, we're not lying! He really said that! I can't believe you'd use a child to try to convince me! You're despicable! <gasps> don't tell me you already got Grandfather! Listen to us! Relax. We just need to get to the ship that's up ahead. We met your Grandfather on the way. The ship ahead? So you're Utic soldiers, just like I thought. You're planning on using that chip to destroy this mine. We're not gonna do anything. Look, we're not related to Utic. Kids, stay quiet! I'm not a kid! Damn it, this is a waste of time. Just get out of our way! Uh, you've gone far enough. You're not taking another step. I won't let you. You're not getting away with this any longer. It's all right. Please, Mai, listen to us. I don't need to listen to you. I won't let you take anything else from me. I won't ever forgive you. Lupo!
to drive. to drive. me, aren't you? I know what comes next. I'm ready for it. Go ahead and kill me. Just like you killed my father and the people from the mine. Get a grip. If we wanted to kill you, we would have done it a long time ago. Don't worry. Our attacks on Leupold were just enough to temporarily interfere with its drive system. It should be back to normal soon. I don't need your pity. 
We're not pitying you! Whoa, Shion! Our friends are on that ship, and if you keep getting in our way, we're not gonna hold back. That ship is as important to us as this place is to you. You, of all people, should understand our feelings. <sighs> My! My! Grandfather? Oh, you're hurt. You foolish tomboy. I'm sorry. They talked about you, so I thought these Utic soldiers had gotten you too. These people have nothing to do with Utic. Oh, I swear your rashness is going to be the death of me. Can't you be a little more ladylike? The mine workers all ran away in fear of Utic. If I don't protect this place, who will? And besides, Daddy was... This place connects you to your father, doesn't it? Don't worry. We won't tread on your memories. Your ship should be up ahead. My. If you're done here, then go. I don't need any more trouble. Thank you. Huh. Jeez, she's just as stubborn and aggressive as a certain someone else we know. Right, Shion? Why are you looking at me? You're all okay. Shion! Hey, glad to see you're alive too. I knew it'd take more than that to do you guys in. <laughs> We're not gonna go that easy. Chief, thank God. I thought I'd never see you again. Alan, hey, where's Cosmos? Does anyone know where she is? Chief. About Cosmos. What's wrong? We recovered the ES craft and Cosmos. But there was nothing we could do. What? What do you mean? It's best you see for yourself. Assistant number two, show her the way. Chief, this way. core was damaged during the fight with Telos. <gasps> we can repair damage to her frame or her control program, but there's nothing we can do about the black box once it's broken. That's not true. We can fix her. You're here, and so's the professor. Chief, you know the only one who could repair the core is Kevin, the designer. Cosmos will never move again. 